Central South Dakota Outside Expectations Welcome to this year's annual recognition event Gone Virtual Mitchell, South Dakota Outside Expectations The Mitchell Area Chamber of Commerce, Development Corporation, Convention and Visitors Bureau, Main Street and Beyond, and Dakota Heartlands Organizational Synergies have been put to the test in this unique year. Their team has worked hard to provide an effective and efficient communication platform for overall economic opportunity through programs designed to promote and increase the commercial, financial, and economic vitality of the Mitchell region, its businesses, and citizens. And they do not take lightly the fact that you invest in their organizations and trust you find value in the work they do. This year, the Chamber of Commerce welcomed 34 new members, while ambassadors hosted 10 ribbon-cutting ceremonies and two Cracker Barrel sessions by the Governmental Affairs Committee. The Chamber led several new programs due to COVID that reached members virtually. The Takeout Takeover, Restaurant Rumble, Cyber Saturday, and the Back to School Bash featured over 110 member businesses in these free promotions. The Network Committee hosted socially distant First Friday Coffees and two new events, Corks and Cupcakes and Beers and Brats. The Ag Committee held Ag Week in August and will host a new Livestock Summit in December. The CVB has continued to lead our community marketing efforts by providing a holistic approach to marketing our community in the areas of workforce availability, community livability, special events, retail and professional services, plus visitor attractions, creating new billboards, digital advertisements, and radio promotions. The marketing of the community is vital, as 51% of our consumer spending comes from our regional residents, who reside 30 to 140 miles outside of Mitchell. MitchellSD.com saw over 80,000 visits to the website, with top page views being events, the home page, job postings, and the retail business listing page. You may have seen our Loyal to Local promotions. We all need to remember that where we shop is directly related to things like public safety, roads, and community services. We welcomed just eight scheduled bus tour groups this year, and traffic counts to the Corn Palace were down nearly 25%. However, visitor spending was flat over 2019. Tourism tax is down slightly for 2020, but not nearly the decrease we had anticipated early on. 2020 was the first year of a peak season marketing campaign with the State Tourism Office, creating new opportunities for marketing our community to people throughout the Midwest. Although the campaigns were briefly paused in late spring, the numbers have shown to be well worth the efforts as the campaigns exceeded goals and had over 40,000 interactions with potential visitors. The community calendar page at MitchellSD.com had over 220,000 event page views, which was up over 30% from 2019, even during a pandemic. A key part of being a hub for shopping and services is paying attention to our living room, Mitchell's Main Street. It's no secret that work has begun to remove the dangerous buildings that suffered from disrepair. The organizations will continue to work with the Main Street organization to determine best uses of empty lots and old and new buildings. The Chamber and Development Corporation has led by example by renovating their offices which suffered from declining conditions and an unsafe environment. They moved into the space in March and celebrated with an open house in September. The Mitchell Area Development Corporation encourages and provides assistance for economic development. In 2020, they prepared several lots for future business development and now have a certified ready lot. As mentioned previously, they completed the remodel of the office space at 601 North Main. 
2020 continued the development of future affordable housing, thanks to a generous land donation from Avera in 2019. Mitchell Area Manufacturers Association helped middle school students realize the role manufacturing plays in Mitchell and the growing skills and careers available in this sector. They also support Mitchell Tech students by providing scholarships each year. Yankton, Brookings, and Mitchell have joined together to pursue grant funding to host summer camps to certify nursing assistants. The Development Corporation and Chamber have provided the business community the latest in COVID information through a newly designed web page and social media postings. And small business loan and grant assistance to both our current and prospective members. 118 jobs were posted by members on our job search site with over 13,000 views. The Development Corporation continues to showcase the variety of opportunities in Mitchell by highlighting Palace City Profiles, a way to showcase Mitchell families in efforts to attract new residents and increase the workforce. Their accomplishments and plans for the future are directly related to the great team, partnerships, and the many volunteer hours worked in our community. The collaboration seen in the community among key players in retail, service, and industry business lead us to believe that Mitchell's best years are still ahead. At this time, we would like to recognize the three boards whose members set our vision, make decisions, and attend countless meetings. If you are a member of the Chamber Board, MADC Board, or Mitchell Main Street and Beyond Board, thank you for all you do. There are more than 200 individuals who volunteer for these organizations, and to those of you who serve on any committee of the Chamber of Commerce, the Convention and Visitors Bureau, Main Street and Beyond, or the Dakota Heartland Development Association community, thank you for your service to our organizations. Now we will honor some individuals who have gone above and beyond this past year to make Mitchell an exceptional community. The first award is the Prairie Family Business Award. Prairie Family Business Association's mission is to support family-owned businesses and encourage their success in transitioning from one generation to the next, ensuring their business stays local and part of their local communities. This award is presented annually with support from Core Trust Bank, a family-owned business, and a member of Prairie Family Business Association themselves. Founded in 1990, our recipient is celebrating 30 years in business with the third generation of owners active in the day-to-day -day operations. They have grown not only in size, but also expanded their scope of service into two additional areas from their founding focus. Their business is built on a foundation of family values, believing it is their responsibility to not only take care of their personal family, but also their work family and customer family. It's with this care for both extended families, they have established programs for continued employee learning and development, as well as expectations for a five-star customer experience every time. This business has also been committed to their community throughout their 30 years. Their leadership team has been involved with MTI Foundation and the MTI Education Board children and youth activities, and the Chamber of Commerce. And they have also supported community programs such as food drives, animal shelter, and a variety of other community-oriented organizations. We are proud to recognize this family business that has incorporated their family values into their business and committed to provide what they can for the community. We are pleased to present the 2020 Mitchell Area Family Business of the Year Award to Paulson Air and the Paulson Family. Congratulations. Go for it. All right. Well, I'd like to thank uh, for the nomination and the recognition of receiving this award. It truly means a lot uh, when we have a family business that can move from generation to generation. Um, this year we're celebrating 30 years and from the first generation who was uh, able to start this business when he was 53 years old to have it last through the generations to where my youngest son now, Seth, um, is 21 
years old and means a lot to us to be a part of this community and uh, we'd like to uh, extend our thanks to the Prairie Family Business Association, the Mitchell Chamber of Commerce and Core Trust Bank for this award. Congratulations, Paul Sinair. Our next award is the Tourism Excellence Award. The Tourism Excellence Award from the Mitchell Convention and Visitors Bureau honors individuals, events, and businesses and partnerships that have demonstrated excellence and propelled our local tourism industry forward. This year, adapting seemed to be the common theme for many businesses, trying to survive in the midst of a global pandemic, let alone a business in the tourism industry. This year's award recipient was forced to close his longtime family entertainment business in downtown Mitchell. So they got creative and after a seven year hiatus, reopened the drive in movie theater. The outdoor venue gave visitors a break from quarantines and shelter in place mandates surrounding the coronavirus pandemic while enjoying a show with family and friends. The Starlight Drive-In gave our community and surrounding areas a safe place to get out while maintaining appropriate socially distant guidelines. The Mitchell Convention and Visitors Bureau proudly presents the 2020 Tourism Excellence Award to Jeff Logan and the Starlight Drive-In Theater. Hi, I'm Jeff Logan. I'm Jenny Gattis. And we want to thank you and the Chamber, the Convention Visitors Bureau, and all our customers for this award and for your support uh, this past season. You know, the Starlight Drive-In just seemed like the right answer during these times, and that proved to be true. We had so many people come out and enjoy the drive-in, and we attracted people not only from all over South Dakota, but we had visitors from Iowa, Nebraska, Minnesota, and Germany, <laughs> Germany a lot of tourists who were coming through. So it really worked well, and uh, it helped us survive through the summer. And now that uh, winter is here, things are getting better. The studios are releasing more movies. We're open at the indoor theater again, and we're looking forward to a great 2021. We have a big Christmas season lined up, and we're looking forward to the future. Yes, we hope to see you all over Thanksgiving for Cruise 2 and all our other great holiday movies coming soon. Thank you again for your support during this time and for all these years. Mitchell and the area has just been great to our theaters and our family. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Logan family and the Starlight Drive-In Theater on receiving the Tourism Excellence Award from the Mitchell Convention and Visitors Bureau. Up next is the Main Street Champion Award. The Main Street Champion Award was developed to honor individuals who make significant contributions to Main Street through their time, talents, and dedication to the heart of our community. This year's recipient has stepped up for the organization in a big way. She's been a Main Street business owner and active member with the organization since 2017. During this time, she's participated in the Promotions Committee to help facilitate several retail promotions. In 2019, she was invited to fill a board of directors seat with Mitchell Main Street and beyond. This fall, she stepped up to help organize the Ladies' Day Out promotion while the organization transitioned leadership. Ladies' Day Out is one of Mitchell Main Street's most popular promotions, drawing in hundreds of shoppers into member businesses. Those who lead by example and demonstrate a commitment to a cause make it easier for others to do the same. This year's recipient and her lead by example effort make her a very deserving choice for this year's Main Street Champion Award. Congratulations to Megan Suarez, the 2020 Main Street Champion Award winner. Congratulations to Megan Suarez, our 2020 Champion Award winner. And thank you for your continued dedication to Mitchell Main Street and beyond, our members, and to the community. Congratulations, Megan. Thank you. So your commitment to an active and engaging downtown is outstanding. Tell us what drives you to be so involved in your community. Um, it's always kind of been ingrained to me that you need to be involved in your community because if you all work together, not only you succeed, but the entire community itself. Awesome, awesome. You run a vibrant business. You have active and engaged, engaging social media community. Where do you get your inspiration from? Honestly, it just <laughs> comes to me in the middle of the night. I always try to do something 
to create an experience for my followers, for my customers, for my community members. So just trying to always think of how can I get people involved, how can I keep them looking, always kind of drives me and inspires me. I think she's often the model for her social media as well. So. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why do you think others should be involved in their community? Same reason I am. If you don't try to succeed as a whole, you're not going to get very far with your business, with your life. Um, if you work together, instead of trying to compete with everyone, your entire community is just going to grow and succeed from there. But that's what we love to see, is everybody works together to a common goal. So what are you working on right now, both in your business and in regards to Mitchell Main Street Beyond? Just continuing to grow and work together and create a community, a community of small business owners, um, a community for our customers, and a community for just anyone that wants to live in Mitchell, get involved with Mitchell. Um, it's a great town to be a part of, so yeah. Anything else you'd like to say today? Uh, I just want to say thank you to Mitchell Main Street and beyond. Um, this is a wonderful group and organization that I've been a part of since I've owned a door. Uh, they make a great community for our small business owners, and I'm just really happy to be involved and recognized today. We appreciate all your efforts, and I'm sure our members do as well. Thank oh, you. thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Megan. Our next award is the Community Service Award. Since 1956, the Chamber of Commerce has presented one individual each year with the Community Service Award for significant contributions and service to the Mitchell community. It is the highest recognition that the Chamber of Commerce awards. Born in Madison, South Dakota in 1945, this year's recipient worked in Brookings until drafted into the U.S. Army in 1967 and earned the Bronze Star. He and his wife moved to Mitchell in 1979, where they started a business that would be a staple in the Mitchell community until their retirement in 2003. This year's recipient served District 20 in the State House of Representatives for 10 years and served on the Appropriations Committee. Over the years, he served on a variety of boards and committees throughout our community and the state of South Dakota. The Veterans Park on Main Street was one recent project that was nearest and dearest to his heart. He touched many lives over the years with his service to our community and was very generous with his time and talent. I'm proud to announce that this year's recipient of the Community Service Award is the late Lance Carson. Accepting the award is his wife of 54 years, Donna. So thank you very thank much. You. Thank you very thank much. You. It is an honor, and we are thrilled to have him in our community. We're thrilled to be here. At a great place. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. So Stan, I'm not sure if you want to say anything. I know it's kind of impromptu, but. Um. I, I had the opportunity to work with Lance on the rodeo committee, and uh, I know that he was involved in a, a lot of stuff. Even though he was retired, every day was busy because right. he was doing something for somebody else. Very good. Stanley has been our friend forever. <laughs> well, we are blessed, and we thank, thank you very much. Thank you. You bet. Lance will be missed, but never forgotten. And our final award this morning is the Harold Hagen Award. This award is not given every year. The Mitchell Area Development Corporation in 2001 created the Harold Hagen Award, recognizing an individual for their outstanding efforts in the area of economic development in Mitchell. Among other accomplishments, Harold Hagen was the driving force behind enticing Cabela's to become part of Mitchell. This award honors those that, like Harold Hagen, have made significant contributions to economic development as well as entrepreneurship right here in Mitchell. This recognition might not be awarded every year, but when it is awarded, it recognizes an individual's special lifetime achievements and commitment to the work of creating jobs, creating progress, and raising the economic standard of the Mitchell area. This year's award recipient was born in Mitchell and raised in rural Mount Vernon. He married in 1965, and from 1967 to 1972, he served in the Mitchell National Guard Unit as a medic and was involved in the search and rescue efforts in the Rapid City Flood of 1972.
He began his existing business in 1975 with a partner and in 1980 became the sole owner. The company has grown throughout the years and has expanded eight times. He currently employs 10 support staff, one drafting designer, and 10 crew members. He is currently developing his second housing subdivision in Mitchell, where single-family and multi-family homes are being built. In his career, he has been instrumental in building more than 450 houses and 500 apartment units in Mitchell and the surrounding area. He has worked on community and state projects to include a recent remodel of the world's only corn palace and the Chamber of Commerce building. He is currently a member of the First Lutheran Church, Mitchell Area Chamber of Commerce, South Dakota Retailers Association, the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, Pheasant Country, and Ducks Unlimited. His past involvements include the Associated General Contractors of South Dakota Building Division, Mitchell Area Home Builders Association, Rotary Club, Kiwanis, and Mitchell Area Disabled Persons Council. He has served on the advisory committee for Mitchell Technical College and on the foundation board for Mitchell Technical College. He has supported many organizations in Mitchell and the surrounding area, including the Oscar Howe Art Center, Davison and Hanson County Pork Producers, LifeQuest, Mount Vernon Baseball Team, DWU Team Makers, Mitchell Show Choir, Mitchell Colonel Booster Club, Mitchell High School Marching Band, Boy Scouts Troop 72, 4-H, the Mitchell Barber Shop, Mitchell United Way, the Mitchell Concert Association, Mitchell Area Community Theater, Prehistoric Indian Village, Junior Achievement, Mitchell Area Safe House, Habitat for Humanity, and the Mitchell Mallard Baseball Team, to name just a few. He and his wife, Gail, have been married for 55 years and have two married children. He has five grandchildren, loves to fish, hunt, camp, and boat, and spend time with his family and grandchildren. We are proud to present this year's Harold Hagen Award to Robert Bob Muller. Hi, Bob. How are you? Well, you know what? Good. What about you? I'm doing great. Lurie asked me to help present the Harold Hagen Award uh, for you. Yes, for outstanding economic development uh, through the city. For you. It's Lurie called me a couple weeks ago, and I see, and I said I'd be very happy and proud uh, to present you with this, okay. co-present this. My mother says hi. Okay. I I knew you were a, a great friend with my father and oh, a fishing buddy. I guess so. And I'm you exemplify this award beautifully, and I think there's not a more deserving person than you and your business and your employees, a long outstanding member of the community. Creating jobs, you. keeping us going, and you, um, you caught me by surprise. Uh, and Lori wanted me to surprise you. <laughs> 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 All right, and Lori wanted me to, to surprise you. Oh, I'll be done. Okay. And uh, this is a, this is a fun day for me to be part of this. So, well, that's good. Uh, that's good. Yep, a uh, lot of uh -huh. lot of fond memories of your family. Yep, you know, that, and mom. And I mean, when did you start this business? Good grief, you've been here longer than we have, I'm sure. Oh, uh, well, we came out here in 75. Yep, yep. And, uh, but I started with Burns Lumber Company in 1964. Okay. And where did you come from? Uh, Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon. Yeah, yeah, just a couple miles west of Mount Vernon. Yep. Right along the south side of the interstate, the old farmhouse is still there. Okay. That first overpass just uh, west of Mount yep. Vernon yep. on I-90. And what a great part of the community that you've been, and what a great leader you are. Well, thank with you. Your business, thank you. very, very much so. And uh, creating jobs, helping the community, fair, just a fair, no frills, steady rock of the community. That's what, <laughs> that's what I think of Muller Lumber and you, Bob. Okay, well, <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, I'll be done. And that's so, I shake your hand, but we're not yeah, we're, to we, have, we have to do that, don't we? <laughs> You're right. That's the new COVID handshake, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what I should say, really. I mean, I'm kind of lost here. I wasn't <laughs> expecting it, but thank you. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, well-deserving individuals in the community besides me, but I appreciate it. And uh, we try hard out here. Uh, we're a family business, and Michelle is a big part of our business today. Michelle and Mark and 
And when we started, my wife Gail was doing what Michelle's doing today. But she since has been out of the business for a number of years. She's still on the board for us. But uh, again, it's just you know it's great. Thank you. Uh, didn't have any idea this was coming. <laughs> congratulations to Bob Muller and congratulations to all of this year's award recipients. Thank you for making Mitchell an outstanding community.